All right, as you can see, I'm using the power share with solar, and the solar is actually putting power into the vehicle. You can see it's putting 2.6 kilowatts into the Cybertruck. Now let's see what happens if I turn on the microwave, which is a 1200 watt microwave. I wonder how long it will take for it to notice. So it's still showing 2.4. There you go, now it shows 0.6. So it says 1200, but it's, according to this estimate, it's pulling much more. But anyways, yep, looks like it's working well. And it's pretty cool because now I can actually collect the solar power even if there's a power outage. So if PG&E has an outage, I'll still be able to collect the power from the solar panels. Um, and then I'll be able to power the house with the Cybertruck. So yeah, actually having a 123 kilowatt hour battery pack for the price that they're selling the truck it's almost like you're getting the truck for free and the batteries all you're paying for because if you try and get a 123 kilowatt hour backup battery bank for your house look up how much that would cost that would be crazy expensive all right anyways yeah pretty cool look at here off grid over 24 hours of backup remaining okay and it's showing the Cybertruck is at 54%. When I plugged it in, it was at 52%. So I gained 2% while plugging it in, while using power. And here you can see how much power it's using. I can reconnect to the grid if I want. <clears throat> but they recommend... Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to turn off the solar when reconnecting as well. But when going off-grid, it tells me to... Um, cut the breaker to the solar panels so it doesn't cause any damage to them uh, but yeah you can see it's charging up the car and it says we have four days of energy remaining um, it's as you can see only 11 right now 11 a.m. so as it gets closer to I don't know when's the best time for the solar but I think it will probably go up to about five kilowatts or so We'll see, I'll keep an eye on it, and then we'll see how high the charge rate goes. Now my brother's running the dryer, the clothes dryer machine, and you can see it's pulling 2.1 kilowatts. So with the solar and that, yeah, basically what, 5 kilowatts? Alright, so yeah, we'll see you guys later. So since he was drying clothes that was already semi-dry, he just wanted it more dry, you can see it already finished, and yeah. Um, I gained another percent, so up to 57%. Also, the uh, charge rate um, from the solar is now 3.1 kilowatts. Now it is uh, 4.35 p.m., 4.36 p.m., okay? Um, and I believe I started it with about um, 60, or sorry, 52%. So, yeah, we gained about 12% while um, powering the house or running as a backup. The solar pretty much charged the Cybertruck and any um, uh, excess energy that we needed beyond what the solar was producing, then the Cybertruck took over, or not really took over, but helped out. So the Cybertruck puts out up to, I think it's at 11 kilowatts or 11.5. <clears throat> so combined with the max solar, I saw about 4 kilowatts or so, basically get about 15 kilowatts of usable power that the house can draw. I don't use anywhere near that. I'd basically have to, like run the dryer, run the microwave, run the stove, the electric stove, and I don't know, AC units and a bunch of stuff, and I probably still won't go over 15 kilowatts. So plenty of energy for me, for my use. You can see with the solar going and everything, it says we have over five days of energy remaining. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to drive the vehicle, but if I were just using it day and night, day and night, letting it drain, and all of that. I mean, at night I use even less energy. Obviously, I'm not going to be cooking anything or running the washing machine dryer or whatever if I'm using it as a <clears throat> backup power kind of thing, right? So yeah, uh, plenty of energy to run daily off just the solar. And if I'm not driving anywhere, then yeah, this is a perfect solution. I'll actually gain more than I use. So pretty nice. I can easily go off grid with the solar on the house and use the um, Cybertruck as a power wall and 123 kilowatts that's plenty um, if I have any excess I could either charge my brother's car or I can drive off with it right so yeah pretty good nice setup <clears throat> I don't know how much this would affect um, 
the warranty and stuff on the battery because I remember seeing something that said if you use it as like a daily like power source kind of thing then it will like void the warranty on the battery or something but I mean look it's charging my car does that count as a daily power source or I don't know I don't know how it works because <laughs> the truck is getting more power than it's actually giving off it's more just there as a backup in case um, the house does pull more than the solar's pulling. I mean, obviously, if I left it on at night, then it will use more, but yeah. Okay, anyways, now um, what happens if I go back to reconnect to the grid? You can see how it shows in here. Power is going from the charger into the Cybertruck. Let's see if I reconnect to the grid. Do I need to turn off the solar thing? It doesn't say to. It only says to turn it off when you're uh, going off grid. So, hmm. Okay, while reconnecting, don't turn on or off large appliances or circuit breaker. So basically, let's just start it and see what happens. Reconnect. Okay, so the power just shut off and it turned back on. Um, I can tell because my garage light just turned itself back on and I can hear my um, uh, laser printer starting up. So now you can see the solar is going into... Um, okay, it says it may take up to five minutes, but now you can see... or uh, for a little bit, the thing was showing power from the solar was going into the house. And it's still showing power is going into my car. So let's see what's happening right now. We're at 64%. It's not charging. Okay, the charging stopped. And let's go back to the house. Off grid. It's taking some time. So if we wait long enough, it should eventually show that power is going back from the solar and stuff. So I'll wait for that and then I'll be back to show you. All right, and a couple minutes later, it is now showing that power is going from the grid back into the house. It might take a little while and then we'll see, hopefully that solar power is going back into the grid. Yep, and a little over two minutes later, you can now see that solar is going into the grid. Oh, and now it shows my truck in the garage, although it's on the driveway. <laughs> thing I'm curious about is if my cyber truck is already at the charge limit of what I set which is 80% if the solar will still charge up the cyber truck so I turned the solar on just a little bit ago we'll give it a little usually it takes a minute or two to show and we'll see if it charges beyond 80% so I've been leaving the solar on for a long time and yeah as you can see it's staying at 80 percent and the power is actually going from the cyber truck to the house so i think if you're at your charge limit it doesn't like to use the solar anymore to pull um, power into the house uh, let me see what happens if i try and run like the microwave or something all right so the microwave is on And now it's pulling 1.7. All right, nothing else. Okay, now let's go ahead and reconnect to the grid and see what happens. Power went off and back on immediately. All right, and let's see if the solar thing updates. We'll probably have to wait a few minutes for that. All right, so we'll see what happens when power shows going back into the house or from the grid just noticed it gave an error but now it's showing it's reconnecting to the grid again so I'm confused okay it I don't know <laughs> let's see does it show anything from the cyber truck okay it should be reconnected to the grid because it's showing this now and the house has power so yeah so I think it's just the wall connectors offline because the internet's resetting so we'll just have to give it some time and then it should be good so I don't know why it's still showing this off-grid thing uh, but yeah and now you can see the power is going back from the solar into the grid I'm not sure why um, in the power share mode it wasn't pulling power from the solar into the truck anymore because it did drop to 79 percent but it was still not going into the truck so I don't know maybe it was just being weird and I don't know if it was started later or if I had to wait longer or what, but I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> that's
that's enough testing for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.